Right now, Washington Mornings on the Mall. At AM 630. All right, it's Friday at 837 on WMAL. Brian Eman, Brian Wilson with you. Happy to have great groups in the house. Comedian, you've seen him on Whose Line Is It Anyways? At the Improv the entire weekend here in D.C. The D.C. Improv. You want tickets, dcimprov.com. Greg, thanks for coming in. Thanks, See, you, Brian. You, thanks, you, Brian. You dressed up for the occasion. I did. I'm wearing a very special uh, taffeta gown that I made <laughs> uh, last night in my room. Uh, it took me all night to sew it. Do you know that uh, Wilson over here has declared it Flip Flop Fridays? Uh, oh, hooray! And, uh, How beachy. He couldn't find his shoes this morning, so yeah. he decided to wear flip flops, and now we have declared every Friday throughout you, the you summer. Know, you know that Friday. foggy moment at like 2.45 in the morning uh, when the alarm goes off? Do I? Where are those shoes? Well, just to heck with it, I'm going to put on the flip flops. Well, at least you wore shoes. I think that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, toes, you didn't go West Virginia. <laughs> toes exposed. That's right. Yeah. So, but uh, you know, we got up early this morning. Were you, were you up early this morning? I was up at uh, 2.30 last night. I did uh, two shows last night. I did a podcast oh my gosh. Uh, late at the improv, and... Uh, Sorry, I'm taking a picture. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't hit seek. Don't hit seek. We're still on the air. Yes, we are. Uh, and so I went to bed. Um, I went to bed a little bit late. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll go back Comedians, to bed later. It's hard for comedian. We're asking a lot of you to be here early in the morning. This is early, early for a comedian. Well, uh, we have to do this every week, so it's part of the gig. Uh, but yes, you are. I mean, the, the, the line is always: doesn't everybody get up twelve hours before they go to work? You know? yeah. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people got up last night about six p.m. so they could get to go to work right, this right. morning. So what do you do in between now and the show? Do you just go out and get drunk, or do it? Yeah, that's sleep? exactly what I do, Brian. Thank you for saying that. Uh, what I do from here here is go immediately to a, the Mad Hatter on Connecticut <laughs> Avenue, there you go. where I will ensconce myself underneath a tap. Um, <laughs> no, I uh, I uh, press flowers and write poetry. Um, I collect. I'm an ornithologist, uh, so I'm looking for birds all the time. I go back to my room and I write and uh, and and fume about how unfair show business is. All right, I want to ask you because I I was a big fan of the show. Whose line is it anyway? You were the one. I was the one. I, I you know there were a lot of people who loved that show. I mean, we're addicted to the show both. Both the UK version and the and the, and the US version with Drew Carey. I want to know though, when you got you know that many very talented people who are great at ad libs, certainly at, from time to time, things spun out of control. Things that perhaps we in the viewing public did not get to see. Well, they did a bunch of um, what do they call them outtakes? The outtakes. Mm-hmm. There's a whole outtake reel which consists of me cursing a lot. <laughs> uh, whenever anything went terribly wrong, uh, you knew you could get them to stop tape by cursing. Uh, when we would be doing a hoedown, and often I was the first one to go up in the hoedown. Which is something we didn't enjoy, by the way. I don't want to ruin your audiences. No. I play, I'm in a group with Ryan Stiles, the tall one. Right. Uh, as you know, the bald one and the other Colin one. Colin Mockery. Colin, yes, the older gentleman. Um, he, uh, he's in a two-hander with Brad Sherwood. Uh, but me and Ryan go out in a group with Chip and, uh, Jeff, um, from the show. And people yell ho down and Ryan. Just, I got your ho down right here. Right? Like, he won't do it. Uh, but when we do it on the show, uh, you know, you'd do it and you'd mess up, and then they'd go, go do it again, and you'd do it again, and, and so I would just swear. And then they go, stop tape, and then you had a minute to pull it together. <laughs> that was our only way to get them to stop tape. Well, earlier this morning, I had, I've, I've never, I haven't had it in the full year that I've been, but I had one of those moments where you just sort of lost it. You yeah. just sort of got the giggles and you couldn't stop. Oh, yeah. What do you do in a situation like this? I'm sure it happened in these in these shows. Oh, all the time. I go with the flow. I think one of the most famous clips that's on the Internet now and has been since we went off is uh, uh, when Richard Simmons was on the show. And Richard Simmons uh, was a, a, um, a jet ski. And Colin was riding him and pulled his head up right, there. right to his crotch, right? So Richard Simmons' head was at Colin's crotch the whole, and I lost control. And I fell off my chair. And then it ends with them going, oh, my God. And Drew goes, Greg, are you all right? And I go, I'm just so happy. So, yes, I, I never made any attempt to stay in character. Uh, like the Carol Burnett show, which I'm sure you remember. Yeah, oh, right. I just let it go. And, and we, we'd be in the middle of a discussion, I'd just start laughing. Who, who are you? You mentioned the Carol Burnett show. Who are the people that you just thought were just hilarious? Oh, all, uh, well, George Carlin's my favorite stand-up really? comedian. I think Jonathan Winters is the greatest yeah, improv no, yeah. uh, nuts, comic of all time. He didn't need a group. The rest of us have the crutch of a group, but uh, John Winters didn't need a group. I think he's superb. Uh, I love Joan Rivers. I love, um, I mean, when I was little, you're talking about uh, growing up. um, You know, watching on uh, on TV, uh, Monty Python and uh, uh, SCTV. I don't know if you remember the SCTV group with Gene Levy and John Candy and Andrea Martin and them. And then I liked, you know, Groucho and... 
all the old time really comics. old Jack stuff, Benny, right. yeah, yeah. And Jack so, Benny was great. Oh my know. God, Jack Benny was funny. What, what did you like about him? Well, we were watching on the bus uh, on a Who's Line tour a week ago. We were we stopped at a Cracker Barrel. And this is the kind of glamorous life yeah. I live. And uh, we went to the gift shop, and Ryan bought a Bob Hope uh, DVD, and, and it had a Jack Benny sketch or whatever. And so Hope's running around, and blah, 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 blah. And be they gave Benny this terrible line, like, uh, well, whatever. And he goes, that's the line they gave me. And the crowd goes crazy. And he waits a year and then goes, been working on it all day. <laughs> <laughs> and then Bob couldn't wait to say it. <laughs> the, the fourth, Yahoo! <laughs> but I mean, it took, Milk it, it, yeah. it took forever. And when we were in the bus just crying. Because there was no joke. He just said this terrible line yeah, and then he just spent a it, year yeah. making fun of it. And Hope jumped in. Hope couldn't wait. Yeah, like, Car Carson was great at that. At, at laying laying back. Taking a, a, a bad moment and making it better. Yeah. yeah. Really lay back on it. And uh, and then watching Hope, you know, all the, you know, in the 80s it wasn't quite as funny, but he tell a joke and just let it as he would say let it lie there you yeah. see him tell it and then he just looks at the crowd until they break you know like he no way does he not get a laugh you know so i hear your voice and i hear bob the builder oh uh, you have kids I, yes and i always thought that it would be great to have kind of like a risque you know dirty version of a, of a bob that's the builder. really pervy brian <laughs> no no not that i hope you didn't tell your children <laughs> no, yes actually i have now, what if wendy and bob got in the trailer <laughs> And the question is, can they do it? And the answer is, yes, they can. And, and how would they build it? <laughs> how would they build it? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I I did do a few for the for the when we would record them for for laughs, but you couldn't get away with too much. That was a great gig. Um, we recorded it in London, so they used to fly me over to London. Why does that get done in London? Because it was an English cartoon. Really? Yeah. It was, uh, and then they sold the company, and it all went to 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 dross. But. Uh, we, yeah, they would fly me to London. I remember telling Craig Ferguson once, and he went, well, you can record it here. And I was like, shh, shh, don't tell them that. I want to go to London. We would have curry at lunch. It was great. How, how is London? How, I mean, do, do you like going over there? It seems like you do a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm in London next week. I'm doing my podcast there. I'm doing the Otterbury Festival. Then I'm going to go to Dublin. I'm going to do stand-up at Whelan's. And then, this is so Irish. Uh, you'll appreciate this if you have Irish listeners and friends. Uh, I'm going over to play Dublin to do stand-up, right? Yeah. And then I want to do the podcast. I'm like, well, let's do stand-up the first night, podcast the second night. And they're like, there's a big football match the second night. <laughs> do you mind staying three nights so that we can show the football match? Because no one will come. Wow. <laughs> they're playing, uh, Ireland's playing Italy in a UEFA Cup. <laughs> yeah, they're priority like, straight, right? So I have to stay an extra day to watch a football <laughs> match. Uh, I'm if sure the show be, even starts at all. I'm sure there will be beer there, don't worry. Oh, my God. There's well, Greg, it is so good here. to have you here on the show. And, and you're at the Improv all this weekend. Yes, sir. Uh, it's good to see you again. Where, I, where can people get your podcast, by the way? Uh, oh, they can go to iTunes. Thank you for asking. Uh, they can go to gregproofs.com or proofcast.com. And it's free to download. The, the podcast costs nothing other than hours of your time and that you'll wish you'd spent with loved ones. <laughs> Greg Proofs. Well, it's a pleasure to.